What's up everyone? This is me Sean and today guys I am back with another command creation by the Redstone Engineer. So today guys we are going to be taking a look at Natural Disasters which is a two command creation made by the Redstone Engineer. So yeah basically what this does is it adds in a machine that adds in some natural disasters and it also adds in a way to prevent it. So this isn't actually the first Natural Disasters one, this is the second one, which is more Natural Disasters. So for the command, guys, go to the link down below, it'll also pop up on the screen right now. And yeah, just go to that, and it has two commands there. Obviously, they're labeled number one and number two. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you're going to basically activate this command so that you can get all these Natural Disasters in your world here. So right now, I have two command blocks stacked on top of each other, the top one here is number two this is command number two and um the one on the bottom is going to be command number one so what you're going to do is you're going to go into the bottom you're going to hit Control v to paste the command and then you're going to go over here to the needs redstone option you're going to click that to always active and then hit done and then it'll go ahead and just get all this good stuff and it'll generate this nice box this nice purple box like before with all the commands that will add in basically all these natural disasters and I'm lagging a little bit so again we're going to wait for the for the world to actually accept what's been done to it all right guys well you know I hope everything you know smooths out a little bit but this is going to be a lot of fun so there are not many recipes in this there's actually only one recipe and I'll show you guys that later so yeah what you're gonna do if you want to go ahead and get the items to spawn each natural disaster in your world you can go ahead and you can right click ah. the sign and you get these items you get tornadoes uh blizzards and earthquakes so we're going to go ahead and we're going to play around with this stuff so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead i'm going to first show you this tornado now this is probably one of the most dynamic ones uh, of these three down here so we're going to go ahead and we're going to play around with this for a second and uh yeah so basically when you spawn it in, what's going to happen is you're going to get this pillar of smoke and it's going to start picking up blocks, uh, it's going to pick up entities, and it's also going to pick up animals, and if you stand close enough to it, it'll actually go ahead and pick you up, which I thought was really, really cool. It'll give you a levitation effect, and uh, yeah, it'll kind of like juggle you. It's pretty freaking amazing. So, yeah, as you can see, it's leaving this nice big wake uh, of destruction in its path, and it's just, it's just being really cool right now. And uh, again, it throws all kinds of entities, players, uh, mobs, all that good stuff up in the air, and it does lag your world a bit, and yeah, that levitation effect is bringing me pretty far up. But, yeah, that is Tornadoes, honestly. It's pretty cool, uh, just looking at it, just... I don't know. There, there's something cool to it. It's, it's just ripping up the ground, causing all sorts of destruction. It's amazing. Uh, but if you guys do want to protect part of your world from these, don't worry. The Redstone Engineers got you covered here, alright? So, if you guys wanted to go ahead and make a item called... I forget what it's called. Hold on. Disaster Neutralizer. That's what it's called. If you guys want to make that, what you're going to need is you're going to need one Nether Star. You're going to plop these on the ground. You're going to need eight, whoops, <laughs> eight redstone torches. Eight, all right, plop those on the ground. And you're going to need eight iron ingots. I don't know why I'm typing eight in. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's, that's nine. Eight iron ingots. And what it's going to do is going to give you this natural disaster neutralizer. And uh, yeah, let's go catch up with the tornado. And I'm going to show you how this works. Oh my goodness, yeah, just take a look at this. This looks awesome. So let's say this tornado is heading to a part of the world that you want to, you know, you want to protect it. It's your babe, it, it's your it's your creation, it's your pride and joy. What you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to create this natural disaster uh, neutralizer and you're going to place it down and it's going to get rid of natural disasters within a 150 block radius. Yeah, it's just going to cancel out all the natural disasters within a certain radius of it and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you what happens when you do get outside this radius. So again, the radius is 150 blocks, about. So we're going to find the edge of it. 
it should be coming up soon here okay okay here we go all right so right here actually where the village is is where the border is so this is 150 blocks away so if you go out of it it should say yeah you are now outside the protected area right above the hot bar and when you go in it says you are inside the protected area this is a little bit glitchy i guess here um let's see if we can get it again yeah you are now in a protected area so that lets you know when you leave and when you come back in the protected areas that do not have natural disasters in them. So yeah, that's it for this, uh, the disaster neutralizer. Don't know why I keep forgetting what it's called. And, uh, yeah. Alright guys, so next we're gonna play with the other two disasters, the blizzard here and the earthquake. So let's go ahead, let's do the blizzard first because the blizzard, honestly, it's, it's pretty simple. So it's gonna be really fast to show off, but it is really cool. When you get into it, alright, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to right click this. And as you can see, it says on the bottom, white clouds are forming above your head. A blizzard is coming. And you will get a, a slowness and blindness effect on you. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. What's going to happen is, you're, when you're inside this, you're going to get lots of snow just piling up. And uh, you can place more of these. And I'm going to show you what this looks like here in a second uh, from the outside. And while you're in this, you get all these particles and the blindness. But if you go ahead and you, and, uh, you get out of it, I'm stuttering a little bit, I do apologize. Um, but yeah, if you get out of the area of effect, you can see that the snow starts building up here. Let's get a little bit closer here. Yeah, you can see how the snow starts building up and not really much else happens. Not much else happens other than there's a lot of a lot of snow that starts building up. But, you know, it's pretty cool. It's, it is really, actually, really cool. So, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get out of this. <laughs> oh, man, this is a nightmare. So, yeah, guys, that is the, the blizzard. It, there's not much to it other than it makes snow pile up and it makes you blind so yeah guys that is the blizzard so guys we have one more natural disaster to test out here so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into it so right now guys i'm going to test out the earthquake basically what the earthquake does is it creates a fault in the world basically just a giant ravine it sort of digs it into the world and it keeps going and it also shakes the ground when you are standing upon it so we are going to go ahead and we're going to see how this affects this area right here with the sheep. All right, so let's go ahead and let's let's start it. Yeah, so it's not going to show up for a couple seconds here. All right, now it's going to start showing up. And uh, yeah, it's going to build upon itself here in a second. And there is actually a ton of lag in my world right now. All right, but... Yeah, this is going to form, and depending on how fast your computer is, it's going to go faster and faster. But right now, as you can see, I have a ton of lag. Oh my goodness, look at this lag. I think it might be because of the blizzards. I don't know. You know what, guys? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go into a super flat world to, to test this one out because you guys will not get the full extent with this much lag. I mean, look at the sheep right here. The sheep was levitating. What kind of black magic trickery is that? Alright guys, so for this last one, I wanted to go ahead and pull up a super flat world because it wasn't really working in the other world because of lag. But in this world, you know, we don't have as much lag, definitely. So next guys, I'm going to show you the earthquake natural disaster. Now, what this is going to do, let's go ahead and let's place it down. It's going to shake the player and it's going to cause a giant ravine in your world. <gasps> I'm ruining the machine. I'm ruining the machine. <gasps> so as you guys can see, what it's going to do is it's going to make a giant crack in your world, and uh, yeah, I might have destroyed a little bit of the machine uh, doing this, you know, you didn't see anything guys, you didn't see anything, but yeah, it's going to dig a giant ravine down to the bottom of your world, and when it gets down to the bottom, it's going to place some lava, and also destroy some bedrock in some places, you know, it's just going to make a giant crack in your world, and, uh, the reason there's no lava over here, or, uh, over there, is, uh, yeah, those, those command blocks were probably taken out, like, right here at the top row, you know, that, that was, that was an oopsie, that was, that was a mistake. But yeah, guys, I think that is going to be it for this video, and my goodness, is this something that I would love to play around in survival? So if you guys want to go ahead and play around with this command, make sure to go ahead and follow the steps at the beginning of the video, 
and then go ahead and you know download the command in the link in the description so yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you are new and i'll see you guys in the next video